Welcome to One Little Coder. Facebook AI recently launched a very exciting model called No Language Left Behind (NLLB). But the problem was there was no easy way to do inference and check. Usually, a lot of companies, whenever they release the model, they either release on a hugging face model hub, or they would also attach a Google Colab notebook where we can easily run that and see. But since this uh, model was released NLLB. there was no support or there was no inference script that was easily available you had to do a couple of steps to do that but thanks to a very kind soul um we don't have the name of the user so it's pluey fox pluies so pluies has actually created a helper script that will help you run facebook's nllb no language left behind so what i've done is i've taken that code i've put together an instruction on google collab and that is what we are going to see in this video where we are going to use facebook's no language left behind model to do translation language translation the languages that are not very common for example one of the examples that we are going to see is we are going to translate something from chinese maybe maybe it uh, i i don't know what kind of chinese it is but we are going to translate it to tamil which is my language the language that i understand and speak but in this tutorial i'm not going to run all these steps uh, the reason why i don't want to run all these steps is because it takes time but i'm going to explain you the steps one by one which help me in doing this once again thanks to the instructions also put together by uh, the by the kind soul where in here you can see this but i had a little bit of difficulty so you would see slight difference between from what is mentioned on this repository and what i'm showing on google collab but otherwise simply you know this collab notebook will help you use facebook ai's latest model called no language left behind model and we are going to do translation language translation if this is something that interests you subscribe to the channel press the like button let's get started first i've got a google collab notebook in this case i've selected runtime gpu but i'm not sure if we are leveraging gpu just just a disclaimer there once it is done the next step is you have to install fair s sick and fair scale so these are the two installation that you have to do the uh, like in in my case i first installed fair scale and i have installed um fair sick fair sq from the um, the repository itself i didn't do pip install i actually did it from the repository itself um, the reason because i think i was getting an error so i did it first step make sure that you can install fair sick fair scale the next thing is clone the repository fair sick repository after you clone it just enter the folder which is fair sick because you want to enter inside the git folder next you need to you can see that i have entered the folder next you need to check out the branch which is nllb so all the content required for natural no language left behind model is present inside this branch so you have to check out to this branch you have to switch to this branch and after you do that install everything that you want pip install and at this point um collab might ask you to restart the runtime restart the runtime and uh, at this point you have got fair um, most likely fair fair sick fair scale and nllb no language left behind installed the next thing is you need to download a model um, a model checkpoint So in this case, I'm downloading the 600 m, which is a 600 parameters model. But if you want to download a slightly bigger one, you can you can actually still do it. So you can see the details of the model here. So 600 uh, million parameters, 1.3 billion, 1.3 billion, 3.3 billion, 54 billion. I didn't try with anything else other than the 600 million because it was taking time, and uh, you know I'm already recording at 2 a.m. Indian time. So um, uh, i was a little sleepy while i'm recording this so i didn't want to spend a lot of time but if you if you want you can definitely try out the time so w get um trust server names just to get with the same name so that it is consistent if you get it with a different name it doesn't matter but just that you would not have extension then you have to deal with that so use this use this argument then the url of that checkpoint the model checkpoint and then this would ideally download this model that pt pytorch file here so that you can you can use so once the model checkpoint is downloaded this would take a couple of minutes for example in my case it took 2 minutes once that is downloaded next install sentence piece 
Ideally, when you install sentence piece using pip, it should work. But for some reason, while I was trying the command line utility was not working, especially SPM. I think SPM encode was not working. So to solve that, I'm actually building the entire sentence piece from source. But try first with pip. If it works with pip, it is fine. If it doesn't work, then this is the step that you have to follow to compile or build um, sentence piece from source. Uh, first, you have to clone the repository. Then you have set of options using CMake for you to compile sentence piece. Once you're done, once you're done with that, ideally at this point, you are uh, you are OK with NLLB and uh, every basic dependencies you're done with it. Now we are going to download the uh, the helper script, which has been put together by Pluis, which is from a repository called NLLB inference and to clone the repository and we're going to enter inside the repository because inside that repository, we have got um, a translate.sh, a shell script. It, it might look simple, but uh, you know, it's, it's doing a great job. Just wanted to let you know. So we are going to use this and then we are going to do the translation. So make sure that you enter inside the repository. Also a point to make sure that, you know, multiple times you would, uh, this, this collab notebook, you would see, I would have used CD to enter into some other repository, some other folder. So make sure, you know, you come back to root and then you, you enter it back. Like if, if you, if you find any error, like this folder does not exist, most likely you're not in the right place. So just do LS and then see where are you go back to root, copy the entire path. Like you can go here, copy the path, like right click, copy the path and then use it with CD. Then that would help you as well. At this point, like at this command, most likely you are done with basic dependency installation, which is fair sick, fair scale, uh, sentence piece. And then you have also downloaded model checkpoint and you have also downloaded the helper script. Now all you have to do is bash translate.sh, which is going to invoke the shell script and then select the model checkpoint from language to language and the, the content that you want to translate. So first let me, and how do you, how do you get the language code? And that is what you get from here, this link that I've given here. So you can pick anything. For example, first let's translate to English. So, so we know what is English here, English, English Latin. Okay. So first I'm going to show you this content and that is again, um, I just got it from, um, Chinese. Maybe this is, I, I don't know. What is this? Let's see. What is, what language is this? This is. Okay. Chinese simplified. Okay. So we're going to translate from Chinese simplified to English and I'm going to run this. And at this point, hopefully if my demo at 2 AM doesn't screw up, then, um, then you should, you should probably see the right translation from this into English. And if this demo works fine, I'm going to pick another language and then I'm going to show you the same demo, which is, um, you can see that it takes a couple of couple of seconds. I think it would take uh, less than a minute. Let's, let's wait and watch. I'm not going to edit this video. So you would, uh, you would ideally see the same amount of time. Like at this point, it has been executing for 30 seconds, but because I'm not editing, you would see the same thing. Um, when you watch the video live, maybe you can skip. So this Google collab notebook will be in the YouTube description, which means you can just copy the Google collab and then get started. You don't have to go through all the things. Now we are not doing post processing here that might take some effort. So we are not doing post processing, but you can see that ch that Chinese text has been translated into thanks to Facebook for its open source contribution to large scale multilingual machine translation. That's amazing. So this Chinese um, language has been translated into this, but you know what, like you have got a lot of models that handles Chinese. So it, it doesn't really. Um, I mean, it's, it's not the USP of no language left behind. Um, and of course you're translating it to English, right? Nobody leaves English behind. So, but I want to do it in my mother tongue, my language, which is Tamil, which is spoken in the Southern part of India. So I'm going to do the translation. So now what we are doing is we're directly taking the Chinese script, Chinese language, uh, text, and then translating it to Tamil. So, and let's, let's see what is going to happen. Meanwhile, I'm going to go quickly get some Tamil text and then I'm going to come back and then um, we, we are going to do that translation as well. So I'm going to see Tamil movie lines and let's see if I get anything. Oh, in Tamil, I should say maybe. Tamil. So still am I getting anything? Okay. 
தமிழ் பாடல் வரிகள் விச் மீன்ஸ் தமிழ் லிரிக்ஸ் சாங்ஸ் லெட் மீ டேக் திஸ் அண்ட் தென் வீ கேன் செக் ஸோ வாட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு டூ ஆஃப்டர் திஸ் இஸ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் தமிழ் இன் டு இங்கிலீஷ் ஸோ யூ கேன் சி நவ் திஸ் இஸ் பின் டன் இட் டுக் அபவுட் ஃபார்ட்டி செவன் செகண்ட்ஸ் வேர் வி ஹவ் டேக்கன் த சைனீஸ் கிரிப்ட் ட்ரைங் டு ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் இட் டு தமிழ் ஸோ ஐ ஐ ரீட் இட் ஈவன் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தமிழ் இட்ஸ் ஃபைன் ஐ வில் டூ ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் பேக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் ஸோ பெருமளவில் பல மொழிகளில் இயந்திர மொழி பெயர்ப்புகளை உருவாக்கும் திறந்த மூல பங்களிப்புக்கு ஃபேஸ்புக்குக்கு நன்றி ஸோ ஐ ஆம் ஸோ சர்ப்ரைஸ் தட் இட் டென்ட் ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் ஃபேஸ்புக் அ லாட் ஆஃப் நைவ் ட்ரான்ஸ்லேஷன் டூல்ஸ் வுட் ஃபேஸ்புக் லைக் ஃபேஸ் இஸ் எ வேர்ட் புக் இஸ் எ வேர்ட் ஸோ இன் தமிழ் யூனோ லைக் முக புத்தகம் ஆர் சம்திங் தட் இட் வுட் ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் பட் இன் திஸ் கேஸ் இட் டிட் நாட் ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் அண்ட் ஐ எம் சூப்பர் இம்ப்ரெஸ்ட் பை த லாங்குவேஜ் தட் ஹஸ் இட் ஹஸ் பில்ட் so i would definitely say i love this model and it has really got good potential but um, but let's try one last time so in this case i am going to translate it from tamil to english lat what 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 do we have to paste english english latin okay english latin and i'm going to paste that text instead of this i want to paste the tamil text tamil padal varigal okay let's see how it goes uh, let me just check if i pasted the language properly okay it's also small up lower case and l is upper case and um, last time it took about 47 seconds let's see how much time it takes and you can see the set of steps like uh, you you can actually you know go from here and figure out how to take the only the text and then do post processing this repository also gives you some idea about the kind of uh, post processing that you can do but but you know i don't have time to try out all these things so i would leave it out for you to try it out so um, we have spent 37 seconds um, most likely in another 5 seconds it should be done let's see how it translates tamil padal varigal means tamil song lyrics and uh, of course tamil lyrics it didn't it didn't say tamil song um tamil lyrics sometimes you know saying tamil song lyrics is quite redundant like if i am translating maybe i might not say tamil song lyrics i would simply say tamil lyrics so i can definitely understand so overall i'm super impressed by this model um i mean of course i'm i'm not an ai researcher for me to evaluate how great this model in terms of technicality but if i'm an end user who is consuming this translation i am absolutely in love with the translation especially the way the model has built the text um, especially in my language like the language that i speak and understand but for you if you wanted to if you were feeling left behind because you did not have an easy way to do inference or translation this video and this google collab notebook should ideally help you in in doing inference language translation using facebook ai's no language left behind model If you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise please go ahead and give some support to the developer make sure that you start the repository this is an amazing task the shell script might look simple but you know it takes a lot of effort to actually consume that content put it there and for somebody else to use it so so make sure that you show love to the developer any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope you stay safe i hope this video was helpful happy coding peace